Let's talk about the avatars of deities. Deities within the Forgotten Realms are strongly limited on how much they can influence the material plane. And this influence generally happens within that deity's portfolio. For example, Umberly is the goddess of the sea. She can create tidal waves and command sea creatures, but she would have zero influence over a region that's landlocked. There are some things that pretty much all deities can do to influence the world, like sending signs or appearing in dreams, but even these are limited. This is where avatars come in. Avatars are a physical manifestation of a deity on the material Material plane. And while they are very powerful, they only have a fraction of the power that their deity has. And unlike the deities they represent, avatars can be killed, which is a great way to get on a deity's bad side. And while deities can create avatars completely from scratch, they can also imbue a mortal with their soul, causing that mortal to become their avatar, perhaps as a reward for being a really awesome cleric or warlock. Now follow the channel, and I'll see you at sundown.